Hello, welcome to Subramani.com. Here is an amazing story about a couple and uh, I meet a lot of couples. So, this is a slightly oldish story. It is about 2011-2012. Young couple, the boy was from Chennai, very smart, uh, well educated, earning well. The girl was from uh, Mumbai and uh, absolute Mumbai girl completely different attitude towards life and uh, he was the quiet, silent, smart, confident uh, but an introverted kind of a guy and the girl was outgoing, fun loving etc etc but uh, here we are not talking personalities, we are talking of financial personalities. So the girl had got a credit card at the age of 18, she knew how to use it, of course she had not really learned how to use it in the sense that she would run up big bills and suddenly her father obviously came to her rescue and she had got used to that habit. The boy had not seen a credit card till he came to Mumbai, took up a job and this company forced him to take a credit card because he was traveling a lot and you know and that's how they started. So let me read about their financial summary. He was about 42 years of age, she was about 37 years. He worked in a big pharma company, a lot of cash, a lot of goodies and you know, a lot of savings, maybe about 10-12 lakhs of savings and about 10 lakhs in the provident fund and uh, nothing beyond that. He had a house costing about one and a half crores and uh, on which he had a 40 lakh kind of a loan, right? Not too bad, right? So, because he had made the down payment, he had paid the EMI etc. So, that was his financial condition. So, they looked right, right. Well, actually I found from talking to them from their expenses, they were not spending too much on any of those things. It was ordinary lifestyle, you know, you went to their house, uh, they had some very good looking uh, stuff. But uh, you couldn't guess, you couldn't put your finger on why they didn't have a greater amount of money in the bank. And then I realized, I was talking to them, I realized that they bought very ordinary things for using inside the house. So, you know, the quality of the soap that they bought or the stuff that they bought which people couldn't see uh, was not very expensive, was perhaps less than ordinary. Maybe you wouldn't buy it, but yeah, they used to buy those things. But those assets which people could see what they had, so the television or the air conditioner were the most expensive brands, but those which you couldn't see were not so expensive brands. Then the eating out was largely in big branded restaurants. The traveling, including within the country travel and traveling abroad was done with big branded uh, names. They wouldn't pick up their own tickets and all that, they would always go. I mean, for a young couple, this is quite rare, right? You don't go to, uh, you don't make ordinary trips with a very big brands. You could have done it themselves, but that was not happening. Then I realized that for that girl, more than for the boy, for the more for the girl, <clears throat> it was the show of assets were far more important than the necessary assets. So. That sets me on a very, uh, now I, on a slippery path, I realized one thing that proving yourself is a dangerous trap. If you constantly try proving yourself to your friends about the quality of uh, restaurants that you eat and the quality of uh, the <clears throat> branded travel that you do, the places that you visit. Like for example, it's obviously better to say I was in Egypt rather than say I was in Mahabaleshwar. I mean this couple is in Mumbai, so it's a Mumbai example. So I realized that the show of trap was getting to them and I realized that you know the large amount of uh, energy that you will always be spending on talking about your accomplishments, bragging and convincing others that you are a great human being is too much of energy lost. And I found that the guy was not doing any of that stuff. The guy was far more confident about himself and you know, and the girl was uh, trying to do all the bragging and showing off, etc. So I somehow feel that the more you try, you make things worse. The more you try to prove yourself, the more people are laughing at you, the more people are, you know, 
wondering why are you doing all this your own family friends may even start disliking you on the other hand when you don't seek approval you live your life the way you want to live and not bother much about what others think etc you may actually go and steal the glory don't worry about what people look at people, uh, the big spenders and all of them and keep wondering why would they do this why are they not doing this right so people are judging you our people don't care so people who judge you you shouldn't care about them and people who care about you you shouldn't be worrying about them judging you right so be careful don't get into this show off assets more than the assets which you use use things which you like which are comfortable whatever whether it's a television set whether it's an air conditioner whether it's a phone and don't worry about what others think honestly i don't think people think about you they've got better things to think about sorry but thanks